Judge, you didn't steal it. But it's not about anybody. I know that's not true. And since you won't tell me, I'll prove it another way. Judge? I'd like to call my first witness. Your Honor, it's pretty obvious the song in question was written about a special girl. And I'm going to prove who that girl is. Brooke, three weeks ago, Austin gave you flowers at school. Did he not? Well, <laughs> not exactly. Here's what happened. We were in school. Did you get my flowers? Brooke, I, I told you I'm not interested. Can't take these. Thanks a lot, Austin. I'll never forget this. Okay, so the song's not about Brooke. Uh, we don't know that for sure. He's not into you. Move on. Can you describe the nature of your relationship with Austin? Austin one of my boyfriend. You hear that? They've even been spotted saying I love you in public. I love you. I object. Me too. We're not in love. I've been giving her English lessons. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love pancakes. I love pancakes. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Next witness. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you too. Get off the stairs. It's come to my attention that you and Austin have a secret. Is this true? Um, yes, that's true. Hmm? Order! Finally! Now, tell the court what secret you and Austin are hiding. I can't say. Austin's reputation depends on it. I really can't tell you. Remember, Miss Starr, you're under oath. Now, spill the juicy deeds. Fine. I was helping Austin get Maroon 5 to play at Alley's surprise party. You guys are throwing me a surprise party? Not anymore. Oh, man. Oh, this is a waste of time, Your Honor. Trish hasn't proven anything. She's just stalling because she doesn't have a case. I'm afraid she's right, Mr. Moon. I have no choice but to rule in favor of Miss... Wait! Don't make your decision yet! You have new evidence to introduce? Oh, no, I'm just in the bathroom. I don't want to miss anything. Hey, Your Honor, before you make your ruling, I have one more piece of evidence. Austin, I'd like you to sing Steal Your Heart. <laughs> 